Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Okay, here we go. I'm still a little under the weather, got a little sore throat, but I just got a bunch of updates that I wanted to give in, in the justice for Nita situation and just going to jump right into it. Um, first, let, let me just show some some funny art. Yep, we are we are excited to see what happens tomorrow. What is he going to get? Here's what I predict. I predict he's going to be quiet. He's not going to say anything. If this is a pending investigation, people don't talk about pending investigations anyways. So he's just going to stay quiet. He's told the entire Amadea movement to shut up about it. Nobody talk about it. So they're just going to shut up. And because they're all sheep anyways, you know what I mean? So, but anyhow, uh, we have a new transcript in English about the phone call. Here, let me show that real quick. Let me share the screen. And I think it's right here. Yep. So I is it full? Well, someone sent this to me. So I don't know. I didn't I don't have time to check it. Um, but feel free to go through. It starts off with a, a, a context and then transcript at the 145 moment. So this isn't everything, but it's close enough or it's a lot. <coughs> so okay, yeah. So the transcript is now available. Then we we also have this online petition. I'm going around. Make sure you check this out here. Let me put this link in the uh, uh, and I'll, I'll put the links in here in just a sec. But sign this online petition. We're up to about 226. We're trying to get to 500. Um, it's an online petition. Feel free to check it out. OK. And then let me drop this in to the uh, to the chat. All right. There that goes. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, no, the link is too long to be dropped into the chat. So, okay, no worries. Um, here's the link to the essay. And I, I got nothing but time. Walaikum salam, brother. Yeah, the link was too long, so it's not going to post. Here's the the link for, uh, for the full transcript. Let me make sure you check that out. Uh, here's the StreamYard link. We always invite um, Karianis. It's okay, man. Y'all can pull up. Look, it's right there. So, okay. One, two, and I got to put on my glasses, so so hold on. Oh, yeah. So, there's some new letters and memos uh, that, that just came out a few days ago. I think it's Canada from the uh, Canadians mod. <coughs> Let me take this comment off. Okay, so as you can see, uh, and I won't tell you who posted this on Twitter. I won't tell you what WhatsApp groups and etc. But this is on this is on in your WhatsApp groups. Them WhatsApp um, groups got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so here it is. They're like, stay quiet about it. Shut your mouth. Don't don't say nothing. Don't say a word. All right. So let me see what else. Oh, <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so we found the brother-in-law. Let me see if I have a photo of the brother-in-law. The Sala. Oh, and here it is. So this is Sayyid Mahmood Ahmed Shah right here on the right. You see this guy? Uh, I, I'm sure I have an essay on him. Let's see. Sure do. So um, let me just pull this up. But uh, take a good look at this guy. He is the culprit. Um and he, he's an interesting guy. So uh, let me share the screen. Let me take him off. Let me share the screen real quick. And I got him right here. <coughs> so Sayyid Mahmoud Ahmed Shah, he's the brother-in-law of the Khalifa. Uh, in, in Punjabi Urdu, we, we say Salah, right? And then he's in charge of Rabwa, pretty much. He's running wild. He's been running wild. Here's his biography in 2008. Um, he wrote, uh, he showed up at the, at the Germany Jelsa and gave a speech, an aggressive speech too. Um, and, and yeah, so check him out. Hey, and look, he showed up in the Panama leaks. He owned, uh, Godler Enterprises and Salamath Holdings and Puzzle, uh, um, um, Enterprises. So, um, uh, that he, he's involved. The, this is a major player in the world of Amadea. Okay, and and then here's the additional proof, and, and and I'll pull that up, and and here's 
the speech that that he gave. So uh, so let me just pull that up. Yeah, as you can see, he's named right there. Um, so this is a important guy. So he he gets away with everything. He gets away with everything. He was running running around Rubwell raping men and boys his whole life probably. It's all a gunjar <laughs> if you don't know. If you don't don't know what that means, um, you you I, I guess you would call it a prostitution house or a prostitution ring or whatever. So okay. That's who Sayyid Mahmood Shah is. Now, what's the longer connection? Well, it, it goes back to a guy named um, um, Dr. Sayyid Abdul Sattar Shah. And that's where it all really started. So, okay. <clears throat> um, let me just pull that up. I go share the screen. And let's see if I got it pulled up. I'm sure I do. Yep. Nope. Did this one right here. So, here's the guy. Dr. Abdus Sattar Shah. Sometimes Abdul, sometimes Abdus. I've seen it many different ways. Um, he shows up in the history of Ahmadiyyat in 1907. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's son, Mirza Mubarak Ahmed, was about to die. He's gone. He's a goner. And, and this has him shocked because he might have been the Muslim mode. He might have been this. He might have been that. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed had fabricated... A revelation saying he would uh, beat the disease. Maybe it was plague. They didn't tell us. We don't know. So uh, he says, hey, I'm going to get him married. Well, Ms. Mubarakam is like eight. So they marry him with a girl. So Dr. Abdul Sattar Shah says, hey, I'll give you my daughter. Like what? So his daughter, uh, who was a few years old, um, is now married to Ms. Mubarakam. But they're both, but that she's an infant. So Mirza Mubarak Ahmed dies, and then they they're like, okay, now she's got to live the rest of her life alone or some. That's what they say. So this is 1907, and uh, it's reported many years later that Dr. Abdul Sattar Shah had another daughter, Zainab Begum. And look, um, Zainab Begum. So this is uh, Sayyid Abdul Sattar Shah. And here's the uh, here's a bunch of references, and then Siyutul Madi. Here's the story. <clears throat> so this guy says he sent his daughter, uh, and we don't. I honestly, I've read this, and I'm not even sure if that's right. If that's Zanam, I, I don't know how I got that information. I don't remember. <clears throat> um, nevertheless, one of his daughters was going in there, spending the whole night with Mirza Ghulam with the fan and other services three months this guy sent his daughter to be alone with another with a man who's 60 70 years old for three months and this was a normal occurrence in Gadian. this is what i'm saying all this gunjar hana stuff it all started with mirza glam he's the one that started it the reason they did it now and and they 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 were raping and molesting the great great um, granddaughter of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, because everyone did. They all did. And that's so sad. But this is what this Ahmadiyya movement is. And they played the victim card. And they pretend. And they're like, oh, we our lives are so hard. Let us come to the West and make money. <laughs> right? So so that's sort of how it started. Uh, here's the full essay. Um, who else has collected this much information and put it in an essay where anyone can copy and paste it? You know? Um, so, like, you know, I'll bump into to Amity's online. They haven't collected anything. Anyone can create a blog. And you, you just start, like, even if you're running a business, you should have a blog. Whatever you're doing in life, if, if you're into video games, you should have a blog and say, hey, dude, this is what I, and you spread your thoughts and your um, ideas. Um, so, okay, look, here's the full list of all of his children. And I've tracked them. Uh, okay, so here's how, here's what happens. Um this guy was in in deep with the Halifa. So he's in the Halifa's house. He sends his daughter. So now they're all family. They're keeping it all in the family. He had other sons who uh, Mahmoud Ahmed said, the second Halifa says that they were his best friends. So around 1917, and look, I, I got it from right here. <clears throat> See the link from al Hakam. He says uh, – He's just in his washroom with his second wife, the daughter of Nuruddin, whom he killed. And he sees this thin girl that's like 12 years old, and he asks his wife, hey, who's that? She says, "She says, oh, that's, uh, uh, that's Miriam. 
Um, and then and then he goes crazy. Then he goes crazy. He starts uh, he starts asking, who is she getting married to? Let me marry her. So lo and behold, 1921, he marries her. So now he's got three wives uh, uh, at Gadion. She's the third. Dr. Abdus Sattar Shah is now in because now his daughter married the second Khalifa. He tried to get in, and his daughter had married Mizam of Aragama. That The kid died, and they, they let him back in. So now he starts having his way with them, <laughs> right? Um, so okay, back to the back to this one. So okay, Doctor Abdul Sattar Shah, where does he go? Well, he's still there. He's still there in in Gadian. I think he moved because uh, I guess he was a doctor, and uh, by 1925 he retired. Then he moved to Gadian, and he spent like the last five six years of his life in Gadian. Feel free to check out his. Uh, this is a detailed essay, probably the most detailed one you'll find on the internet. Um, <clears throat> and then, so we don't know when uh, uh, Doctor Abdul Sattar Shah died. We don't know. We do know that girl, Sayyidah Maryam, she gave birth to Mirza Tahirham. So that's the connection here. So, uh, so Mirza Tahirham. And uh, um, Fozia Fazi in her video says that the second Khalifa beat Sayyidah Say Maryam so much. Now, and the reason I'm saying Sayyidah Maryam, because there's another wife named uh, Maryam Sadiqa. So you got to be careful not to mix them up. But um, <clears throat> so uh, Sayyidah Maryam is getting beat on. Her and the well, Khalifa is crazy anyways. During World War II, Sayyidah Maryam dies mysteriously. Two months later. The Khalifa marries his seventh wife. And remember, he kept four at all times after like 1924. If one died, in a few months, he'd marry another. So he marries a transgendered woman. That's This is what we've heard, <clears throat> named uh, Mare Appa. Her real name is Bushra Begum. She was the cousin of Sayyidah Maryam. She was the daughter of another son of Dr. Sayyid of the Sadar Shah. So it's all, look, it's all like this. It's all real calm. These are all, all intermarriages. They're all beating on each other, sexually abusing each other. Well, the men are doing it to the women. And they're like, what are you going to do? If you go and tell anyone, we'll call you crazy. And we'll, we'll make sure your life is a living hell. So, okay. So uh, one of his sons, and, and, and am I still on his essay? Yeah, I'm still on his essay. One of his sons is... Uh, Sayyid Mahmud Ullah. He had a son called Sayyid Dawood Muzaffar. And he married the sister of Mirza Tahiram. So once again, dude, if you're not paying attention and taking notes, you could get lost here. So so um, the, the uh, his son, the son of um, Sayyid uh, Dawood Muzaffar, he married... And now I'm getting kind of lost here. Sayyid Dawood Muzaffar, uh, he's the father of Sayyid Mahmud Amin Shah. How crazy is that? So uh, do I have Sayyid Mahmud Amin Shah pulled up here? Let me check. Oh, we got we got some people in here. Hey, uh, assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum assalam, Shaji. Wa alaikum assalam, Shaji. Kida. Kida. I was. I'm. I'm just in the middle of trying to explain the context of who. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are listening. Yeah. So. So okay, uh, and and I was almost done, but uh, yeah. So say the Mahmud Ahmed Shah is the son of the guy that I just showed. Uh, let, let me just just go back. Um, so okay, he comes into play right here. So all these people married their brothers, their sisters. It's it's a mess. A lot of intermarriages. If you try to track all this stuff with a flow chart, that 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 could be it, it could be really hard. So so I just wanted to give context to all that. Um, let me take a look at, at my notes here. So, okay. So now we know where, um, Nita came from because, um, uh, or where the brother-in-law of the Khalifa came from. He came from that family. Um, Fozia Fazi is also in that family. So it's all a mix up. It, it, it's all a total mix up. So, okay. Then we, we also have, uh, a, a, another update or is these letters. They're all posted. Not sure if you guys can see that. Um, that's dated June. Yeah, we can. Yeah, all of a sudden these letters start to surface. Look, there's one in Urdu, 
Um, and then they just kept coming. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. So um, these 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 letters are out there. Um, um, hit the blog and check them out. Right? She's been writing, and I I for some reason I suspect there's gonna be more. So okay. Uh, so then, then I also want to talk about the 1930s. Uh, Miss Rufo, the um, Halifa, t um, taking his women down to the the river bees, and it and, and the prostitute has a problem with it because she can't believe this guy is touching his daughters and doing all of this stuff. So she objected to it. I'm still trying to find that reference. Um, it's it's the famous story of how Miss Rufo went to uh, uh, Justice Manier, who was a lawyer, and tried to file the case, but then it just didn't happen. So um, so okay. Then, um, yeah, so so moving on, and I'm almost done, guys. Uh, uh, Ruzzy is about to be out of, out of a job here. I, I, I want to show some um, some Twitter accounts, um, some fam famous, famous Twitter accounts, just to see what everyone's doing, because it's a total wipeout at this point. Okay, so I'm going to uh, share the screen. Here we go, shared, and here we go. So, um, Gossip Chaudhary, um, can you guys see this? Yeah. Total, total wipeout. Not talking about it at all. Why would he? Um, then look, um, Amjad Han, a squire. Oh, and it's, it's not going to come up. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to have to go to Google, but let's try. Um, why, but, why are they going to be out of job? Oh, well, I, I'm saying Ruzzy could be out of a job because he's an employee. Yeah, because he couldn't defend his Khalifa, right? That, that's the why. Yeah, well, no, if, that's the reason. Right. If the Amdia movement gets shut down, then all these guys are out of jobs. Yeah, they will be shut down. Yep. So um, here's another one. Um, uh, Sultan A. Um, Chaudhary. This guy's been on uh, on Twitter for a while, if I, if I remember correctly. Oh, actually, not that long, but he's got like 4,000 um, followers. Silence. Nothing. In, in fact, I think he posted this. Look, he said the tree uh, uh, anti amdis can cherry pick all they want so uh so okay let me find some other ones let me go to google real quick hold on because it wouldn't let me find it the other way okay i'm just and, and i'm almost done here all right so it comes right up that's all you got to do right nothing absolutely nothing in fact he retweeted something else um yeah so uh they're see they're trying to make friends with other Muslims in in politics, and then it never goes well. It never goes well. So okay, so that's Amjad Han. What about uh, um, Qasim Rashid? And uh, he's trying to make it into Congress. He's been trying and trying and trying. <coughs> We've uh, sent people at him to say, "Hey, can you comment on this?" He blocks. Gone. He will block so fast. Uh, yeah, nothing. It's a wipeout. Okay, then some famous um, XMD, uh, I don't want to say he's atheist, but uh, I think something like that. Sahel Ahmed has posted some stuff. Um, yeah, uh, um, 18 hours ago, uh, feel free to check out his timeline. Guys aren't even, they're not even uh, uh, engaging with him at all at this point because they, they've been told not to engage with anyone. Look, he even spoke to um, Gashif in, in some of these tweets. Um, so and and of course this audio is out here. Yep. So um, check out uh, uh, outside the box. I don't even know who this brother or sister is, but they have um, some amazing content. Um, and that's pretty much the story. So uh, that that's all I had for the evening. But uh, um, brother Ali, what do you have for us? Well, uh, I got something for you. Maybe that that might help your viewer, viewers. Give me a second, because I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Shall you, can you see my screen? Uh, oh, got it. Okay. I got this reference from very old Sirut al edition, the very first one, 1923 edition, right? Yeah. There is a, uh, basically a narration how all these uh, 
uh, their four founders, I mean, four founder of this cult, right, were living together. So here, I'm going to read it in Urdu, right? Uh, page number 273, that is the old edition of uh, Sirat al 1923 one, very first one, okay? In this page, it says, Morvi Abdul Kareem Saab ke lava, Hazrat Molvi Nuruddin Saab or Molvi Muhammad Ali Saab M.A. B. Hazrat Saab ke makan ke mukhtalif hisso mein rehte the. Or shuru shuru mein jab Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan Saab ka diyan aahe the. So all, all of these names, right? They were staying in one place. And that one place was owned by Mirza. Okay, all these big names. Abdul Kareem is there, Nuruddin is there, Muhammad Ali M.A. is there, and we yeah, got Nawab. At least 50 people. Yeah, yeah, more than that. They are with their families, obviously, women and all that stuff. So, and Janab Muhammad Ali Khan, that's the guy when when Mirza was trying to get uh, his daughter married to him and he got uh, Hakmer for uh, 50, 56 or 57,000 rupees at that time. Yeah. It was like a multi-million dollars yeah, amount of money. Yeah, he got one of his daughters yeah. and then his yeah. son got the other daughter. And this guy, he was a big womanizer, Noah yeah. Muhammad Ali Khan. So, uh, he came to Qadiyan to stay there for some time. So, in Kobi Hazrat Sahib ne apne makan ka ek hissa khali kar diya. So, Mirza gave a one portion of his, uh, you know, house to Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan. Magar baad me inho ne khud apna makan tamir karwaya. But later on, he got his own uh, house or place built. Magar baad mein inho ne khud apna makan tamir karwaya. Is tarah shuru mein Mufti Muhammad Sadiq Saab ko bhi aap ne apne makan mein jaga di thi. Now, Mufti Muhammad Sadiq is also joining them. So we already read all other names. At same place, everybody is together, right? In the same, almost... Uh, uh, I think 300 square meter uh, area of that accommodation, almost. So, is tarah muftri, is tarah mufti Muhammad Sadiq Saab ko bhi aapne apne makan mein jaga di. Molvi Muhammad Asan Saab bhi kai dafa Hadrat Saab ke makan mein thayre the. Now, Molvi Muhammad Asan is also there. Doctor Sayyid Abdul Sattar Shah Saab bhi jab family ke saath aate the to amuman Hazrat Saab in ko apne makan mein kisi hisse mein thehrate the. So, you know, we got the connection here that is Abdul Sattar Shah is also getting there with the family. Same yeah. place, same accommodation. And whenever he used to come, Mirza used to give him a place. So, Amuman, Hazrat Saab, in ko apne makan me, makan ke kisi hisse me terate te. Darasal, Hazrat Saab ki ye khwaish reti thi. Now, Hazrat Saab ki ye khwaish reti thi, ke is kisam ke log, hatul vasa, aap ke kareeb tare. Sir, Meza used to try his best. He should stay or these people should stay closer to him. Why? They can stay anywhere. I mean, that place was uh, quite, you know, uh, big enough. I mean, there were other houses. They could stay other places. Why particularly at one place? And here, if you see, so almost 30, 40 people with their women or their young children which is what are they trying to do yeah, yeah it's yeah. nearly almost 300 square meter accommodation what are they trying to do right right right, right. 
So yeah, and going it, back it's to it's a huge, it's a huge uh, mansion complex. You can watch yep. the videos of Kadian. They've actually painted the, the entire area. So uh, yeah, it, it was a palace. And I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, there is also another narration which is very interesting, which I wanted to share in um, our Urdu transmission. Mirza used to, to present girls. And that, that uh, narration probably doesn't exist in a new Surat al-Madi. I haven't came across with that one, but it does exist in very first edition. I'm not sure whether it does exist in new one or not. Surat al-Madi, same edition, old one, very first edition. Uh, narration number is 263. It says, मुझसे बयान किया मियां अब्दुल्ला सनोरी ने कि मुद्दत की बात है जब मियां जफर अहमद साहब कपूर थलवी की पहली बीवी फोत हो गई और उनको दूसरी बीवी की तलाश हुई तो एक दफा हजरत साहब ने उनसे कहा कि हमारे घर में दो लड़कियां रहती हैं हमारे घर में दो लड़कियां रहती हैं हजरत साहब ने कहा उनको मैं लाता हूं आप उनको देख लें फिर उन में से जो आपको पसंद हो उससे आप शादी कर कर दीजिए चुनाचे हजरत साहब गए और उन दो लड़कियों को बुलाकर कमरा के बाहर खड़ा कर दिया शाजी आई डू यू गेट इट yeah, oh, yeah, do yeah. I need to translate? No, uh, I'm, you... I'm, okay. So Mirza brought those two girls on the request of uh, Mirza uh, Mia Zafar Ahmed uh, Kapoor Thalvi, right? He, he like, brought two girls for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he brought two options. You want to get uh, Keri Lumbi or Choti? <laughs> yeah. You want, bro? you want this one or that? That's so messed up. <laughs> so listen to that one. And. चुनाचे हजरत साहब गए और इन इन दो लड़कियों को बुलाकर कमरे के बाहर खड़ा कर दिया और फिर अंदर आकर कहा कि वो बाहर खड़ी हैं सो मिर्ज़ा वाज़ अ पिंप राइट ही वाज़ जस्ट दल्ला या दैस दैस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ़ दल्ला वाल फिर आप अंदर आकर कहा कि वो बाहर खड़ी हैं आप चेक चेक के अंदर अंदर से देख ले चेक करके अंदर से देख ले अंदर से देख ले ओ आई सी आई सी आई नो दस ट्रेडिशनल uh you can say uh, it's a curtain tradition uh, curtain yeah uh, made with uh, made with uh, those you know uh, what do you call uh, uh, wild kana kanne se bani hoti thi na chik yeah, yeah uh, i remember the word for kana but i can't yeah, recall yeah, that yeah, we yeah, usually don't call. use that but anyway it, it's like a blind so he said yeah you, you, know, can, you can you can say the blinder yeah uh, through the blinder yeah because some that blinds chick is, uh, yeah, yeah that chick blinds. is woven that chick is woven very tightly so nobody can see inside yeah. without uh, you know uh, without removing it so uh, yeah. nobody even nobody even can see inside uh, when chanache, this chick is yeah. there chanache zafar ahmed sahab ne inko dekh liya aur phir hazrat sahab ne un हजरत साहब ने उन्हें रुखसद कर दिया और इसके बाद मियाँ जफर अहमद साहब से पूछने लगे नाउ हजरत साहब इज आस्किंग जफर अहमद साहब अब बताओ तुम्हें कौन सी लड़की पसंद है वो वो नाम तो किसी का जानते ना थे इसलिए उन्होंने कहा जिसका मुंह लंबा है वो अच्छी है इसके बाद हजरत साहब ने मेरी रा, राय ली मैंने अर्ज किया कि हजूर मैं तो नहीं देख मैंने तो नहीं देखा फिर आप खुद फरमाने लगे कि हमारे ख्याल में तो दूसरी लड़की बेहतर है जिसका मुंह गोल है 
Shaji, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, he's picking which girl he wants from a yeah. white face and a skinny face. Yeah. So, so weird stuff to me. no, 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 not the guy. No, 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 no skinny the guy likes the long, long face one, and uh, and uh, Mirza uh, Abdullah Sonori said, I think you know the round face one is better. Oh, Abdullah Sonori said, Oh, I didn't see those girls. Then Mirza jumped into the conversation. He said, Oh, I think the round face one is better. So, Hazur ne, uh, Hazur maine to dekha nahi. That's the Abdullah Sanuri saying, I haven't seen those girls, right? Phir aapne khud farmaya, Mirza said himself, aapne khud farmaya, aap khud farmane lage ke, humare khayal mein to dousri ladki better hai. He said the second one is better, jiska moon goal hai, the one who got round face, फिर फरमाया जिस तरह का चेहरा जिस शख्स का चेहरा लंबा होता है वो बीमारी वगैरह के बाद अमूमन बदनुमा हो जाता है सो हु एवर गॉट लॉन्ग फेस व्हेन दे गेट सिक दे बिकम अगली लेकिन गो, गोल चेहरे की खूबसूरती कायम रहती है द राउंड फेस वन रिमेन यू नो इंटैक्ट they don't lose any uh, you know good features wo bimari wagara ke baad badnuma ho jata hai lamba chehra wala lekin gol chehre ki khoobsurti qaim rehti hai mia abdullah sahab ne bayan kiya ki is waqt hazrat sahab aur mia zafar sahab aur mere sawa aur koi shakhs wahan na tha so after having this conversation, Abdullah Sanuri says, Oh, it was only myself, Mirza, and uh, Mia Zafar Ahmed Saab was there. Nobody else was there. Or, knees ye ke Hazrat Saab in ladkiyon ko kis ehsan tarikhe se waha lai the. Wah. Hazrat Saab jo na bade tarikhe se leke hai se. So, he, he, he brought those girls very delegately. फिर इन्हों फिर उनको मनासब तरीके पर रुक्सत कर दिया। Then he basically asked those girls to leave and he used all his good manners, right? जिससे उनको कुछ मालूम नहीं हुआ। So the girls never, you know, noticed what was going on actually. मगर इन में से किसी के साथ मिया जफर साहब का रिश्ता नहीं हुआ ये मुद्दत की बात है अच्छा शादी भी नहीं हुई तो फिर की की तय होला ने सो मिया जफर अहमद लाइक्ड द लॉन्ग फेस वन मिर्ज़ा रिकमेंडेड द राउंड फेस वन मिया जफर नेवर गॉट मैरिड टू एनीवन सो व्हाट इज द पर्पस देन दे आर जस्ट पिंपिंग वुमेन एट कादी सो व्हाट इज द if you and see, even the guy picked up one girl, and Mirza was proposing the round face one. Yeah, I don't know did, what was going on. About, <coughs> did you hear the story of how the second Khalifa picked his third wife? How he saw her walking on down the street from his washroom in his yeah. house, and he just sees this girl, and then he goes crazy. So this is—is is it the one you are talking about, the Nuruddin's daughter? No, What's no, it? it's it's. Uh, Nuruddin's daughter was there. Uh, he says he was in her washroom and he looked out the window and he saw this girl. And he's like, who is this young girl who's running around Qadian, running around my mansion? I have to know. And he's like, oh, that's the girl that married Mirza Mubarak Ahmed before he died. And, you know, is not married anymore to the guy because he died. So, so then he started inquiring about her. And then a few months later, he was married to her. And then she died mysteriously in her late 30s. So, um, and um, Fozia Fazi said the second Halifa used to beat her a lot. Like a lot, a lot. So anyhow, uh, Brother Azar Sheikh, what do you have to say? And yeah. then we got to wrap this up. So I'll come back to you, um, Brother Ali, for uh, final thoughts. And then and we're out of here. Brother Azar Sheikh. Yeah, if you, uh, Shaji and Ali, if you closely... Uh, 
uh, noticed things in uh, uh, Mirza Kadiani's books and their other books written by his, uh, his Khalifa or whoever. Every everything starts from uh, the bathroom and ends up to the bathroom. You know, uh, everywhere, wherever you see is Pahana, that is a bathroom, and you know, that that thing. It's amazing. Uh, and this story, I knew this story, Ali Bhai, just, it, it was, uh, in the new books, this story is no longer there. This story. And did you, under, have you both understood that why this story was uh, written in here? What was the purpose? Which story? The, the the two girls story. Oh. But what was the purpose? I mean... That is to, very just clear. To, just, I you know. can see it in between the lines. Yeah. So this is actually, you know, just to put few words in a book and uh, extend the pages and all that stuff, you know? No, really. No, really. No, really? No, no. So what's the reason? That has a purpose. Obviously, that has a purpose. It's not just filling the <laughs> pages. No, that is very clear. The people who have interest, they know what it is. Unfortunately, yeah. that's not... I mean, all those uh, blind followers, they might think, oh, wow, he has a manners, how he presented girls, how he introduced, right? But the yeah. people who have money, like Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan or some others, they knew. Yeah. Yeah. They knew the capability of Mirza, right? <laughs> yeah, in the in old times, you know, that was the uh, that was the. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say that. It's well, a, a pimping, pimping, Sh uh, up. Uh, tactus. I think this this was a pimping ta uh, tactus. I think. Sheikh Sahib, yeah. there's, no, there's a no mention of uh, names, right, of those girls. Yeah. Where they come from? Were they daughter of someone? Why they oh, were in there? No idea. The why main question is why they were in there. See, that's yeah. what I said. Who they were. Just read Who in between were. the lines. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, everybody. Well, look. Why uh, they were there. There were girls yeah. there all the time. Look. In 1905, 1906, Mirza Ghulam son rapes a girl on the roof of the mosque, uh, on the temple. And uh, much of Mubarak was built on the roof of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's house. L -l -l Let's remember that. So, so that's an extension of his house. And it was a real thin situation. Um, and they expanded Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's house by almost, they almost tripled the size by 1901, 1902. And he got all, all the land around it all the buildings are around it because um, of the Muhammad e. Begum situation, because that lady died. You know, if, if, if you go back and you read that story. But anyhow, <clears throat> yeah. Well, so. funny thing is that I prayed on that rooftop a couple of times when I was in Kadian for three months. Oh, it didn't count. <laughs> no, it's all right. It didn't count. It doesn't even, it's, it's like, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> so okay, uh, let's get some final words in here, um, and then let's call it a day. Oh, the, for the Fozia Fazi interview, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, other shake on the topic of justice for Nita. If you, you could give us the final, your final word, like a paragraph, that'd be amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'm very much involved in it, and uh, uh, sending. Uh, uh, in sending uh, uh, tweets. I'm not really uh, doing anything on Facebook or uh, YouTube just to attend the sessions and that, that. but uh, as you know that I already have contacted the uh, contacted what's his name Bukhar Zaka and his secretary sent me a message and he asked me if I have any a case number or uh, the location of the police station where it was uh, so he that that'll be good for him. But very soon, Vakar Zaka will be in uh, uh, you know in the battlefield. The story. He's going to be picking up the story. So okay. He did. He did. He did already. 
the uh, everything has gone to him if if uh, as i told you yesterday if you can send him i sent you the address i mean the uh, uh, twitter handle so if you can uh, if you if you can send him too so as uh, and and the, uh, what is that the audio also i sent him the audio his secretary already have uh, uh replied to me and he said that very soon he will pick up and he will make a trend you know if when if fakar zaka will make trend then uh, uh, he has millions of followers you know that and when that will go to there uh, it'll be uh, it'll be very good now my question is uh, which i asked yesterday and day before yesterday and three days since last three days i'm asking keeping asking what do you think will uh, masrur uh, tomorrow masrur will come to to the worship or no yeah i think what he's going to be there and he's not going to say anything and the, the entire ahmadiyya jamaat is going to be be told to be quiet it, it might be a pending investigation so everybody's uh -huh. just going to be quiet not say a word based on what i've seen on twitter on in in social media they they're all uh, posturing as such so okay um, thank you for your final words. Uh, Brother Ali, final words, and then we'll go to Brother No, Samir. go to Chaudhary Saab first, please. I will say my words after him. Okay. Uh, Ali, bhai, uh, I, 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 Ali, bhai, uh, yeah. can you go ahead first? first please? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. If you say so, why not? Well, I request everyone, whoever is listening this uh, stream, or maybe you might be watching a uh, recording, um, I would uh, uh, stress you on this point. Please come forward if you've been abused or, or your children being abused or you saw something which is suspicious or you suspect somebody in your family being abused, please, please come forward, contact your local authorities and pass all those details and assure those people they will be in a safe hand. There will be a no problem for them. And they can basically stay anonymous. You don't need to disclose your identity. With initial contacts, they will guide you. They will help you. And they, they might able to give you some advice. Maybe some, someone requires therapy. It is beneficial for you. It's better for you to get that one out from your chest and try to save other people's life. It's not just you. You are, might be putting other people in danger if you keep that information close to your chest. So that is not a good idea. Second thing uh, I would like to say here, the people who are following this Jamaat or this organization, please, send your uh, letters to this organization or hire accountant or hire a legal financial advisor to get the compensation out of your chanda, whatever you donated to them. Because you signed a contract, the contract called a bath form. The bath form highlight all those good points which they mention. But in reality, they were running a red light area. They've been involved with the, uh, some kind of syndicate which promote uh, sexual activities, uh, child molestation, and many other abuses. So that is not what you've been uh, told or, or the contract you have engaged uh, with them. So I would say, Ask for compensation because that is your hard earned money that should be uh, spent on your children uh, or for other uh, activities, which was more important than uh, giving money to this organization. So don't be shy, don't be hesitant, make your decision. Enough is enough. They were running their show on a moral ground. All these moral gr gr grounds are shattered. That head of the community have no, no moral uh, authority anymore. He should step down. He should hand over to somebody else 
from my point of view there is enough enough evidence in that audio so i i kindly request you please come forward and make a decision come out from this filthy uh, cult that is not islam jazakallah uh, shaji thank you very much sounds good brother and uh, brother sagir you, you have the final word in any language you like and as soon as you're done oh, we're we're we're, we're going to end it so you um you have the floor brother uh thanks sisha sahab main specially specially jo ahmadi jamaat ke log hain meri unse request hai ye jo idea aayi hai is दो हिस्से जो हैं दोनों इसके हिस्से शॉकिंग हैं तो पहला हिस्सा है क्योंकि आहमदी पीपल जो हैं आमदी लोग जो हैं वो थिंक करते हैं उनके दिल में था जब मैं भी आमदी था मैं भी ऐसे सोचता था कि जो स्पेशली जिसको ये हजूर बोलते हैं मिर्जा मसरूर साहब कि हमारा जो हजूर है वो इंतहाई नेक इंसान है जो आइडियो सामने आई है इंतहाई शॉकिंग है अहमदी लोगों को ये सोचना चाहिए ये जब ये आइडियो सामने आई है तो अगर मैं एज ए आमदी होकर सोचूं, तो आमदी या कम्युनिटी की ये वाली आइडियो ने दुनिया को हैरान कर दिया कि जिसको ये खुदाई खलीफा कहते थे वो क्या कर रहा है लेकिन इससे जो बड़ी जो बात है इससे भी बड़ी यकीन करें वो ये है कि जो अहमदी लोग हैं मैं तमाम आमदियों से ये पूछना चाहता हूँ ये सवाल भी करना चाहता हूँ कि आप लोगों की खामोशी इससे बड़ा दुनिया को हैरान कर रही है तो खुदा के लिए सबसे पहले उन चंदा देने वालों का राइट बनता है कि वो अपनी इस लीडरशिप से पूछें कि उन्होंने ये जुल्म क्यों किया है और अगर नहीं भी हुआ फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं कहता Oh, फिर भी oh. दुनिया के सामने जानना चाहिए वहां पे आमदी खड़े हो इनसे सवाल करें इनका जो भी जवाब है हम भी इंशाला वो मीडिया So, uh, Brother Sagir is breaking up. Uh, uh, let me just uh, summarize what he's saying. He's saying it's time for people to wake up. Enough is enough. Dude, this was one of the biggest scams of the century, like Lance Armstrong, or is it Neil Armstrong? Hi, you said give it. So, yeah, he made a request. Tiga, um, you were breaking up a little bit, but um, um no worries. So, uh. I just summarized it in English, and you know, uh, it's time to wake up for all the Kadiani, Amdis, Lahori Amdis, whatever you want to call them. It's time to wake up. This is one of the biggest frauds of the century. This is like Bernie Madoff, if you know what Bernie Madoff is. This is like Lance Armstrong, and now it's game over. The Amadia Gunjer House is on fire. We're watching it burn. It's going to be funny to see if the Khalifa has the intestinal fortitude to show his eyes tomorrow. Will he be looking down? Or will he be looking up? That's going to be interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, assalamu alaikum and peace out.